Skylancer is a browser game. Skylancer is a browser game. You don't have to download or install it. You only need an internet browser. The technology we use is called Microsoft Silverlight. It enables us to offer very complex graphics, high-class animations and functions such as drag and drop. As developers, it enabled us to work with the .NET framework, of which we had already had plenty of experience. We could draw upon our prior knowledge. Wir konnten da also auf, also auf Wissen zurückgreifen, das wir bereits haben. It's a client-server application. The client is used for rendering this beautiful world. But all calculations, such as the productions of resources or the scoring, are happening on the server. That's important, because it prevents fraud. It bars players from obtaining an advantage. Skylancer has its own unique graphic style. It's not as gloomy as games with a serious setting. On the other hand, it's not as tacky or cute as a lot of other browser games. Here you see the current status of the game. You can clearly see the difference, the leap the game took. We have really luscious colors and a bright setting. A really harmonious atmosphere. That's what sets us apart. And I believe that's why a lot of people will like the game. These are the main characters of the three factions. They will be fleshed out. You see that, for example, on the basis of the general of the empire. Of course he's still in the making. We work a lot with symbolic colors. He is very militaristic, very grim, and ultimately very authoritarian. And that's what he personifies. Another thing is our edgy look. We don't just start drawing. First we apply the primary colors. Later we rework it so that it matches the look of the game. We get inspired by all sorts of things. We go out and look at things. It's not that we draw only imperialistic generals. We draw other things, such as architecture, fantasy landscapes and so on. And that's why it is vital to study a lot of things. You can let yourself be inspired by comics, movies or other computer games. Naturally, I don't play a game the way an ordinary gamer would. I look at a game and I think to myself, oh, this is very well done, or that's not so good. This is really outstanding work, but there is no secret recipe, no secret formula. We certainly want to improve the player versus player aspect a little bit more. We want to offer players even more opportunities for competition and comparison. We want to strengthen the interplay between players, give them functions and provide help. And we want to offer them even more adventures on Horizon. This is just the beginning.